Hello and welcome back to more to the music with Mr. Brown. Some great stories I want to talk to you about today. First one being Rihanna who has just started off her 777 tour and there's a good reason why she's called it that because first of all she's going on tour for seven days uh, for the release of her seventh album and she's going to be doing it in seven cities. She's travelling on a Boeing 777. Yeah, that's right. So those are the reasons why she's called it that and he's his catch. She's not going to tell you the, 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 where the venues are until on the day. So if you've bought yourself a ticket, you're gonna be on Google, just tapping away, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? There it is, boom, you're gonna duck down there with all your friends. And make sure you get down there, uh, if you haven't got a ticket, if you haven't got a ticket, go buy one. If you're waiting and you can't get one, oh, too bad, never mind, anyway. So, uh, she started that tour on November the 14th and it's going to finish on November the 20th, so it's literally just across seven days and it ends on the 20th, which is literally a day after her album comes out and the album is called Unapologetic, so when it comes out go check it out and if you can get tickets, get down to the venue when she releases where it is. Next thing I want to talk about is Nicki Minaj. Now, she's got a show on Channel E at the moment and it's called Nicki Minaj My Truth and on that show, well first of all let me talk about the feud that went on at American Idol with her and Mariah Carey, do you remember that? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Cat fight. Cat fight. Anyway, so yes, there was a feud. But uh, on The View, Barbara Walters uh, interviewed Mariah Carey to talk about it, what went on there, American Idol, what was there, bickering going on. Uh, Nicki Minaj was very annoyed, she adores Barbara Walters by the way, but she was very, she felt let down that Barbara didn't call her first to get her side of the story. <sighs> That's bad. Because if you were in court, you know, you get one person gives their side of the story, you know, whoever gives their side of the story, then the judge makes an opinion and you have your verdict. This wasn't allowed to happen for Nikki, so she was very annoyed with that. Tell me what you think about that. Tell me if it was unfair that she didn't get her say. I think personally it was unfair. She should have been called her first, got her side of the story, then interviewed Mariah. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. Next thing I want to talk about is Madonna. Uh, Madonna, she performed at Madison Square Garden in New York. And you wouldn't believe it, she's halfway through a song, she's giving it, voguing, doing everything that she does. Boom! Psy comes out, Gangnam Style. They perform Gangnam Style on stage, the crowd goes wild. Uh, at one point she's doing, look, I think the dance, she's doing the dance with Psy like this on stage, and then she gets underneath him and he's straddling, not straddling her, but that little scene where the guy comes out and lift and he's there, they're doing that and they're swapping and reversing, it was crazy. So if you missed out on that, check out the pictures online, uh, check out any videos that might be online because I heard it was pretty good. So check that out. Next story I want to talk about is quite serious actually this one. It's about John Bon Jovi and his daughter Stephanie. Now uh, there was a call made out to the police that she may have been ODing on heroin. Uh, the police ran over to her dorm, uh, at a university where she was staying and she, she was fine, she was alive, but they did find heroin, pot and other drug paraphernalia throughout her room and she was arrested. Uh, she's been released but she's going to uh, have to go to court at a later date. Uh, John Bon Jovi's only daughter, uh, Stephanie, amongst the other, I think, three other kids uh, he's got as well. Uh, but yes, what's going on there? She's obviously got um, a problem, you know, let's hope that she sorts it out. If you do have any drug problems or you have any advice uh, for people with drug problems, please write in and let us know. Uh, this has been Mr. Brown with more to the music and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.